Hey everybody, welcome back to Ultimate Chicken Horse. All right, Let's here's go. the debate for today. Worst right. zoo animal. Ah, uh, like okay, worst by what standard though? Just least favorite. Oh, okay. I kind of feel like we we go to the aquarium here maybe like once a year. Yeah. And there's like like sharks, penguins, uh, otters. You know they're dope. Sea lions, they're killing it. Nothing yeah. wrong with them. Then suddenly you just go into like a big area and there's like 90 fish tanks. And I'm like, yeah, you leave them. Your vote is Whoa. for all the fish that aren't specific fish. <laughs> yeah, especially like, you know, I get that like this is a, a very human centric way to judge an animal. But I mean, we are paying for it. Yeah, you are. Yep. You guys are crazy. Are you paying I, for the fish? I realized it was doable as I jumped. But is then, like, though? colorful fish are okay. I'm all right with that. But then it was just like, this is a brown fish from Brazil. You're like, all right, dope. I'm glad I paid $75 to get into oh. the aquarium to see the Brazilian brown fish. <laughs> I had this very experience at your aquarium because I thought we went into some like little rainforest area where there's nothing in particular. Come to find out, there's a bunch of sloths chilling in the tree. Yeah, yeah, there is. That, that was pretty sloth. sweet. There's that oh, sloth area. I really thought you said sauce, and I was very confused. Yeah, no, I said what tree sauce. I was talking about tree away. sauce. Right, this is a tree. This is tree sauce. So, but, but like, I feel like that's a cheap answer. Like, what's your least favorite thing at the zoo? All it's a fish. genre no, of no, fish. No, but see, the other thing is you gotta you gotta read the signs on those fish tanks because like sometimes a museum. you'll find something weird in there. Like, for instance, a cuttlefish. Have you guys ever seen a cuttlefish of in the aquarium? I've eaten cuttlefish before. Have you really? Cuttlefish in Japan. Well, man. but have you seen them while alive? Yeah, man. They're cool. They like they like fucking vibrate with color regularly. Yeah, they're, they're all right. No, oh, they're awesome. Well, you put that up against like a sea otter that, or like an otter, I guess, just in general, and it, <laughs> you know, is playing around with like a fucking ball or something. Yeah, I mean, maybe. that's adorable, but exactly. like, it's not cool. It's adorable. It's like kind of cool, but it's not as cool as a cuttlefish. What do you think about wow. the area that's full of flamingos at every zoo? I'm oh. for it. I'm okay with flamingos. Is it kind of like, is it really that interesting? Once you've seen a pile of flamingos once, you're like, oh, they're pink. Oh, there they are. Yeah, they're just kind of chill. They don't really do I anything. Honestly, a lot of the zoo kind of sucks. Like, yeah, because like a lot of the animals aren't even there. Like, you can't even see them. Yeah, they're just like hanging out in the forest or something. Like, yeah. what is uh, that about? There's only one answer. There was some cool ass what red pandas thinking? in Ireland. Um, so. Actually, the penguins are pretty dope because in the uh, in the Central Park Zoo, I actually don't know if they're still alive. I hope they're still alive, but uh, <gasps> there's uh, there's some gay penguins in the Central Park Zoo. What? No, oh, for real. Yeah, that's like, real. They, uh, they yeah, made a big they... deal about it for a long time. Yeah, it was, it was really cool. They uh, so there's two male penguins. So penguins, you know, basically mate for life. Two male penguins got together, and not only did they do that, they adopted a baby penguin. Well, what? They went to the penguin adoption agency. <laughs> yeah, they did. Um, no, yeah, they like uh, this. they just they just raised an orphan penguin as their own. I don't know if that was set up by the zookeepers or anything. I feel like thirty percent of the story is untrue. No, no, really. I mean, it's a whole it was a whole big thing in New York for a while. I don't know if they're still alive, but that's it. How long do penguins live? Like 20 years? Maybe. That's not a very definitive answer. The bigger <laughs> the animal, the longer they live, right? Turtles no. live forever. No, that's the opposite. Parrots live forever. No, it's not the opposite. Though. It's first for it is for dogs. I think it's a general rule though. Like, Lobsters they... can feasibly live for a very, very yeah, but long these time. These are outliers, man. People are also gonna be like, well, what about the trilobites? Okay, sure. You got me on the trilobites, but isn't it big dogs know. and small dogs live less? Like the middle dogs do it the best, really. Well, no, it's like the bigger you are, the more fucking shit you got working, and it's complex, and the more that can go wrong. Yeah, but like but the little ones are just like, weak. How long do like whales live? Mayfly versus like an elephant. Well, I don't think insects count either in this regard. Yeah, you know what? Oh, that was really fun. <laughs> I rode that shit the whole way. Yeah, but watch this. Wow, amazing. <laughs> yeah, but it's gonna take me away. Like Lenny Kravitz says. Give me the people as in free myself. What did you just say? Give me the people? Isn't that so as to free my soul. 
Give me the beat boys and give free. Give me the beat boys. Give me the beach you boys. Talking to his band. Give me the beat boys and free my soul. I want to get lost in your rock and roll and drift away. What I are you talking about? I want to get lost in your big old hole. But can they give me the beach boys though? I mean, no. Why not? What's wrong with the beach boys? You got a problem with the beach boys, Austin? No, I'm just saying he can't give it to you. All right, what's the I, worst zoo animal though? Because we just kind of like got off that topic. I, I, I don't really. I, don't, I think I, I gave a genuine answer. I was really bummed out. Say like, flamingos? this doesn't really have to do with the worst, the best. But like, uh, I went to the zoo one time ever. I think it was a school trip. And wait, really? uh, yeah, I don't remember actually. It might have just been like a some kind of like extracurricular thing. But we went to the zoo. It was the only time I ever gone. It was the Houston Zoo, and uh, I wanted to go see the wolves, and uh, they were. They weren't out. They were in their little, like, enclosure thing. You couldn't see them. And I was like, well, that's, that's not their lame. fault. I know. I didn't blame them. I was just bummed out. <laughs> well, you raised them up as a candidate for worst zoo animal just because no, they I were didn't. inside. No, I didn't. I literally said it didn't really have much to do with the oh, worst okay. thing. You got to listen to me, Nick. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> friends do. <laughs> okay. well, uh, 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 you guys ever see that gif of, uh, of like, little babies sitting on the windowsill? And then, uh, and then there's a lion. <laughs> it's alpaca. <laughs> That is an alpaca. <laughs> an alpaca out of this. That's really good. Wait, uh, they're called alpahacas, <laughs> and their fur, their wool is so soft. They're so soft. <laughs> My it dad's losing laughing. his mind. <laughs> Here we go, boys. No, the, the, like the, the sticks. If you look at them, they're, they're an alpaca shape. Oh, but he's missing a leg. Yeah, we're still working on him, but he's coming along. Rob. Rob. Yeah. I wanted to. I wanted to be the rebel. I wanted to go on the other side. <laughs> Nick, yeah. what's your least favorite zoo animal? I'm That's thinking a hard maybe question, like hippos. What? Really? An enormous aquatic animal that has like a cute teeth. There's a board game based on it. I don't know about cute teeth. They're not cute. Yeah, they're I'm like sure they're the quite deadly. Pretty, like, very smelly deadly and pissed animal off animal. all the yeah, time. Yeah, they are. They're not cute. This guy's gonna tell me hippos aren't cute. I, I mean, I think hippos are cute, cute, but I wouldn't say their teeth are the cute part of them. Their teeth are really. No, I'm gonna, gross. I'm gonna be with Nick here. They're not they're really. Goofy. They're not really cute. They're not really. Goofy, the cutest though, thing they do is wiggle their ears. That's true. Yeah, that's a huge part of their cute. No, Austin, ride it. I'm. I am. You gotta go one complete. Ride or die. Have you seen a hippo's teeth though? They're like all mangled and weird. Yeah, that's what's cute about them, man. They look like they bit down on some rebar. Yeah, like they're like fucked up and they're like they're, they're they got like like you know decaying animal flesh in them. <laughs> I mean, if not the hippo, my second nomination would be any monkey that screeches. I like the howler monkey. Yeah. yeah, I hate that when they like open their mouth really really wide. That's terrifying. I still have the only right answer here. <laughs> fish. No, that's cheating. I'm taking some boring ass fish. But like, that's not Austin. even at a zoo, though. That's in an aquarium. Th th there's fish at the zoo. Uh, Are there? There be fish at the zoo, I guess. I mean, maybe. But if you if you limit it to like land mammals, <laughs> that well. So they have to be mammals too. Now they do, yeah. Is the hippo a land mammal, though, technically. Yeah, it's a land mammal. No. I gave you two answers. If you have to defer, you go to the monkeys and screech. Hippos are land is, mammals. Is a flamingo a mammal? Well, what? okay, that's a good point. He said, is a flamingo a mammal? <laughs> no, I'm confused. I don't What's think you could... The best animal? Oh, the wolves, I mean, it's just fans. I don't know, bears are pretty dope. Are they... Have just regular bears at the zoo, though. Oh, the yeah, fox cage! Do. The foxes are badass. Thank you. Foxes are sweet otters, dude. Honestly, like if you're at a petting zoo and you get to pet an alpaca, that's pretty sweet. I've done like, it. They're pretty cool. Obviously, yeah. there's yeah. no bias here, um, but they are pretty awesome. No, I mean I'm I'm with you. There's always oh, rocks at all these oh, damn no. zoos. Oh, They're called fuck. alpahacas, and their wool is so soft it kept me laughing. <laughs> Rob, <laughs> it kept him laughing. <laughs> this is a great level, by the way. <laughs> I'm loving it. Uh, how do you guys feel about McDonald's chicken McNuggets? No, I'm no, no. I'm back. I'm I'm for them again. No. Really. Yeah, everything's changed. I don't changed. know if I'm for them yet, honestly. I mean, I well, haven't I'm, had any since, but... This looks like a, like a cool symbol, doesn't it? 
Looks like a satanic uh, symbol, maybe. No! Man, Nick, I mean, Austin's all about hailing Satan. You know he is. He tried to sell his soul for some some Hearthstone cards. It didn't even work. <laughs> it didn't work at all. It worked for me. It did, yeah. I got Austin Mac there. Uh, ah! <laughs> Well, good luck. You gotta wait a long time to get money. No, I don't. Money, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that song game really took it out of us, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I can talk about sex robots again if you guys want. Really, I mean, you guys we get weird. No, oh, it's okay. <laughs> we had we had our one weird episode. We're just gonna talk about that. Doesn't change. What it. is that stick what? doing? Weird. <laughs> it's pretty weird. <laughs> I think this level's too easy. What's the weirdest sex position you guys would be willing to try? I don't know enough I mean, sex this positions my to answer one that question. veto to <laughs> not. Do we have go a veto? Okay, I think we should have a veto. Are we allowed like, vetoes? Can Ryan I veto has used the his veto episode? for the entire Ultimate Chicken Horse series. No, <laughs> for the week sessions. <laughs> How do you okay. find a sex position that isn't worth trying? I no, Ryan vetoed. Know. We can't talk about this. Oh. You yeah, don't, you don't, you can't veto something on the UN Security Council and then be like, but what if we invaded anyway? I didn't know you vetoed for all of us. <laughs> well, that's what Russia. That's the whole point of the like veto. Well, see years. now, Nick, you have a veto, so if we ever talk to start talking about Hearthstone, you can veto it. Yeah. No uh, one's gonna a listen point. to me. I guarantee it. Yeah, he's got a good point. It's a he veto. Didn't listen to Josh yeah, when he yeah, this is, We're gonna respect the veto, all right? Are we respecting? All right, the veto? I, I can get down with this then. We're respecting the Danny. Okay. The veto. Yes, I got it. All right, what's the funkiest sex act you would do with No, Dan this is the same category. It's not the I same category! That this is the same category, just reskinned. But it's uh, sex acts with Danny DeVito. I get, my, I get my veto back if if he gets to propose this. No, you don't get a second veto! You don't get to propose the same topic twice. Fine. We, we might have to bump this up to the Rob, next we can be more floor. creative than this. this. Okay, uh, what do you, how do you guys feel about dark energy? Um, what, is, what is dark energy? So dark energy is a theoretical principle that uh, suggests I'm pretty that... sure 30 people just turned the video off right there. <laughs> well, what you actually you started you know, explaining. Like, I'm the only one posing anything. <laughs> somebody, that somebody cursed somebody get it. video that was like, we should reorder our calendar so that we're actually... Yeah, I saw that one. 12,016 instead of 2016. Yeah, yeah that seemed uh, very cool. pedantic to me and All right. unnecessary. Uh, yes or no, I would be interested in going on the conveyor belt that the baggage goes on at the airport. Oh, fuck yeah. yeah. Absolutely not. What? <laughs> That's what I thought. You are a monster. Why, Why would you want to ride that? Things get stuck in it all the time. But imagine but you're the wonder you that's behind stuck. there. Like, what if it's just like, like Willy Wonka's really fucking boring. No, it's fucking Willy Wonka's chocolate factory, dude. I know it. Isn't it I just know... like a really slow conveyor belt? No, it's going to be amazing back there. There's going to be something like about it would be kind of cool. In there. It might be the exclusivity of being the only person that gets to ride it. Do you guys ever do the thing where you sleep in your school? No. Oh, yeah, we did that once. Uh, really? They called it a lock-in. Yes, I, I didn't do it, like, illicitly, but oh, there okay. was, like, a charity thing at my school that I was Whoa. participating in, and we had to stay overnight at the school. We slept in the cafeteria. Oh, that was pretty cool. Uh, yeah, we did in the gymnasium. Before. It was pretty chill. We just, like, talked about Pokemon all day or something. You guys know there's like a whole series of like YouTube videos from multiple channels um, yeah. about people like staying in places for some reason. Basically just making, you know, janitorial staff really, really hassled, which is yeah. sweet. How did we do this? Look at this. <laughs> I think we're trying to box it in. <laughs> no, just look how like how like it's one space. We could just Oh that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a no. living nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's like challenges where it's like quote unquote challenges. Um, oh, it's taking the piece of wood this time. What? Very it's slowly. It's, it. it's, it's always been doing it that. The first time. time it didn't do it for me. Look, we got, it's okay, so no heavy. We got to go, go two rounds. Everyone come back down. Come back down. Okay, okay, okay. We got to go two fair. rounds. There were, uh, there's challenges where it's like, you know, sleep overnight in the movie theater. Okay, I'm here. Yeah. What are you guys doing up there? I said two rounds. Get back oh, down guys, real quick. Don't I'm worry. Going to the box. You guys ever see 12 rounds starring John Cena? John Cena! 12 rounds to throw down. 
So the uh, who hold wait, crown wait, protect. Wait, this this is important. Yeah. Is he cradle to the grave? No, this is important. The concept of 12 rounds is that John Cena like used to work as like a bodyguard or some kind of security. Maybe he's a cop. And he uh, like thwarted the dude's evil plans. Okay. But then he gets out of jail. So he kidnaps his wife, John Cena's wife. And he's like, you got to do 12 challenges to get her back. And you're like, well, this movie's awful. But it's like an okay gimmick that you're like, okay, you better be careful. He's on like thing, you know, four. There's eight more to go. But then close to the end, you're doing the math and you're like, there's not time for like six more <laughs> rounds. And the villain just goes, surprise, that one was three rounds. You're like, what? Dude, oh, you just violated the terms bullshit. of our agreement. <laughs> that's so bullshit, dude. It's pretty dumb, yeah. I want my other rounds back. Yeah, dude, as far as I'm concerned, I'm still out two rounds. <laughs> Get around like Mary go, bust a scenario, come into your stereo. You know, John Cena's in a new movie that I saw a trailer for. Mm, it's called the Wall. The Wall. Oh, is he? It's the uh, yeah, that Game of Thrones uh, spin-off series. Mm, I heard. No, the Pink it's Floyd these, spin-off. These two soldiers in Afghanistan. There's a sniper, and they're hiding behind a wall. The Donald Trump spin-off. Wow, oh, that sounds like a great and interesting concept. Almost as interesting as uh, Phone Booth. You ever you ever hear that movie? I you saw. Ever watch that one. Yeah, the 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 concept was, hey, what if we put a guy in a phone booth for two hours? <laughs> that dude's got a sniper Print rifle it. trained on him, man. Yeah, Kiefer Sutherland has a sniper rifle he... trained on Colin Spoilers. Farrell. Spoilers! He tried to get out a couple of times, right? There was other mitigating yeah, factors. Oh, there was a whole, like, maybe four feet of blocking the whole movie, you're right. It was, it was very exciting. <laughs> um, like, they, he took a couple steps at one you know point. <laughs> it costs a lot of money to shut down a street in New York City, man. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's true. This level is actually horrible. It's, it's bad. really bad, yeah. What no, was the terrible. movie where, like, it like was an action movie and there was, like, an assassination? Wait, wait, but, like, What? Hold on. Before we continue, can we get Nick to the same level as all of us? That's and what then, I was thinking. Yeah, and then and then sudden death, so we just hold B. So, Nick, you can be the only one that completes this now. But he gets oh, first points. He gets solo points if he does that, though. Yeah, well, first points is enough to get it out anyway. Well, no, I think I think if he we gets... We can't even solve solo, this anyway. It's trapped it. in. No, you can just roll it. Yeah, it's been moving the whole time. It's a one tile. <laughs> So this movie is like an assassination attempt and it like takes you through different like perspectives of people who are there like one by one. Oh, Lucky I number it's, seven. Yeah. No. That, that's, I, I really like that movie actually. No, nah, it was like, I don't know if I think it was like a super average movie, but I liked it a lot. It's pretty cool. I don't, I'm trying to remember the name of you it. You don't though. know the name or really what it's about. I just told you it was about. It's about an assassination and they slowly unsolve or unravel the assassination by taking you through different people's perspectives of the events. We can't win, guys. Well. I'm, I'm gonna win. We're gonna win? If we don't win, he gets solo points. Well, yeah, but now he gets zero points and he's got two turns. Oh, it might be enough, level. actually. Actually, I don't. Th I think it's just barely not enough. Well, someone's got to... That's the thing. We can't give him solo, I think. I say, I I say we give him solo. Be, Do we I care who fucking solo. wins this awful level? <laughs> that's a great point, honestly. That's, you know, when you put it in that perspective, I... <laughs> You guys ever seen Labyrinth with David Bowie as the Goblin King? Is that... I've seen Pan's Labyrinth. You seen Pan's Labyrinth? Yeah, I hated it. No. I mean, I was like a kid and I didn't have the perspective of like what makes a movie good, so I just saw this guy get his head smashed in and I was like, oh, that's gross, I hate this. Wait, you were a kid for the... Oh, that's God. That's like the first 10 minutes of the movie. Is it? Oh, yeah, I guess I have so. no concept of time. I thought I was like... 28 when I watched that. That's just you not true. <laughs> was that two years ago? Yeah, I, I'm 31. There's no way that's true. Wait, you could have seen it when you were 28. What? Nick, Wait, Nick why did you kill yourself? yourself? Oh, Nick. I don't know. I just saw you guys doing it. I thought this was the thing to do. <laughs> oh, you're supposed to win. <laughs> you gotta why? win. You gotta get solo might, We might tie it up and then have a cool, exciting round to bring no. us back. I'm and by exciting, I mean we no, all... Ryan, don't finish I'm finishing this one. Don't finish this one. Nick had his chance. Ryan, don't finish <laughs> this one. I'm finishing. We got we got a flood Ryan. That's pretty gross. I want to make sure that I get into sudden death. Ryan, what's 29 times 43? If we all 43? get into sudden death, whoever wins, if we, if we all, Devin. I don't remember the numbers anymore. Times 42. <laughs> Who dares wins? Times 43 one time. Is this even moving? 
Oh yeah, there yeah, it goes. Moving. It's just very. Oh, we gotta wait and watch. If Ryan finishes, we have to finish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not the first time I heard about that. That's a great game. Nick, just go finish the level, man. Rob, get out of the Robert! way. Robert! <laughs> do we, we do it? Do we get out? Do we die? I Ryan, want, you I want have you to, go to go first. first. I want no, to Ryan. Ryan, you have to go. I'm not going. You're the only one who's untrustworthy out of the three of us. Okay. All right, Rob, you got to go next. But you realize that we can all sudden death now if you die. I think Nick's just going to win, but I will end my we life. Have to I don't know. think he's going to win. I don't think he's going to win. I think he's either going to lose or... Well, I think that? he's going to lose or tie. Those are the only two options. It's not like somebody me. throwing dice. Oh, oh right, tie! Perfectly. perfectly! Exactly! Egg oh, fucking exactly. Who's egg Zach Lee? Ming Lee. Oh, fuck! Oh, it's not doable Jesus. there. It is. No. Oh, it is! <clears throat> is it? Wait, really? Here, we tipping. We tipping over! Oh, my I'm God. Gone. Oh, there I am. He's done it. Oh, ah! oh, well, that was exciting. That was intense. That was a good finish. <laughs> that was that was our first level. Intense. That was the first one, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh man! You guys ever been to the circus? Yeah, nope. I've been to the circus. And I've been to Cirque, and I've been to Circus Circus. Okay. Which one did you like the best out of that? Probably Cirque is the best, and then the Circus, and then Circus Circus. What's Circus Circus? Is that like Pizza Pizza? It's an old casino in Las Vegas. Oh, okay. okay. So the more versions of Circus you say, the worse it is. Yeah, unless they're foreign. Okay. Yeah, because Cirque just means Circus, right? Yeah, probably. What are you trying oh, you to should do with that You're Canadian. The barrel just there. Just place it. Okay. You don't control both glues. You just control where it's placed. You know, can I say, I saw uh, David Copperfield. Yeah? And, uh, I Me too, kinda, actually. I thought it was kind of boring. Mm. It was impressive. How'd you get on 90%? Don't ask. Um, it was, uh, it was, it was impressive, but it was just kind of boring. It was just like, he made some birds appear. That was pretty cool. And then he made a car disappear, and I was like, yeah, oh, but wow. like... Surround the barrel, surround the barrel. Okay. It's like, oh, David, David Blaine, he, he drank kerosene. That's pretty cool, you know? Yeah, but like, oh. Did he stab I himself know. through the heart in that show? No. Probably. He took a yeah. kid from the audience and was like, hey, kid, come get in my car. And I was like, man, under what? the circumstances, this will be weird. But I, I tell you what I remember. I saw I saw David Copperfield when I was a kid, and I loved it. Um, and But the only thing that I remember from that show is that at the end of the show, Ryan, god damn you to hell. <laughs> the only thing that I remember... You're... <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> anyway, the thing that I remember from that show is that at the end, he had a bunch of paper falling from the sky. I don't know what happened. Like, maybe he threw a bunch Probably of doves. Oh, that was Luchini. No, 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 but it wasn't confetti. It was it was all, like, right I think now. it was, like, news. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I think it was newspaper or something. And uh, why are we making a health start in 21 minutes? I don't know. Oh, oh. <laughs> ah, anyway, um, so uh, oh. but I remember for some reason my mother had the uh, had was of the mind to remember to bring a plastic like Ziploc bag. She and caught the confetti. We put the confetti in a bag and brought it home. Why? Wow! I don't know. Why, I, don't, I don't still have it, but like I, that's the only thing I remember from it. Is That's that. so like, it's cool. It's a magical moment. Yeah. Oh. But oh. You... I. Why? Do you <laughs> relive the magic on a regular basis? Because I would. Would you what? Oh fuck. Did you relive the no. magic on a regular basis? No, but you know what I did relieve the relieve, relieve my magic on. <laughs> what? Oh, fucking mom's titties. Um. No, but what I did uh, really? relive the magic on is I. For a guy. I saw um. Power Rangers, they had a Power Rangers live show uh, in uh, in New York City at Madison Square Garden. And uh, okay. it had a little uh, 
And that it came a with a book. John Wayne in it. Had <laughs> a little with a uh, uh, Ruka and the Tomo there, and they were doing the uh, cat things. And uh, um, no, but uh, it had a it had a book and it had a bunch of art in it, like it was like a uh, video game manual from the nineties, and it was lovely. I kind of I forgot what you were talking about. What, what I, I did too. This is a Power Rangers show. Okay. This is a live show from the Power Rangers. It was fun. Ah! <laughs> My god. Where did it navigate all of the obstacles? Where's the coin? <laughs> Where's I the don't coin? know. Where is the coin? Where's the fucking Dude, coin? look at that sweet ass finger going into the wall. No! Where's the coin? No! <laughs> no! No. We have to stop him. You guys are getting <laughs> smushed. Oh, it's over there! Did you say you no. guys are getting smushed? Don't you, do it. You just become Don't snooky. What? You just become snooky? What? Did you just become snooky? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I did three. I mean, the worst right? Do we need of more recording. of those? <laughs> like, was, I don't know. Do we need more than three? Is that is three enough? Did you just become snooky? <laughs> You just ah! <laughs> I like this fake out. Like I can jump and be like, ooh, we go, ooh, go, oh, ooh, go. <laughs> oh, I'm oh, back in. Why you survived? Oh, ah! Brian, I will beat you to the coin. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, looks like you don't have to worry now. You only have to I'm compete in. against yourself. No, do I really Robert, want to, Robert, want to do this? Nah, it's fine. Oh, you guys are going to about to be embarrassed. Oh, this is not good. <laughs> Broken! Frankly, I'm alright wow. with it. <laughs> My wow! God. Is this the most brutal episode of Ultimate Chicken Horse ever? <laughs> it's the most fucking dutiful wife. I'm not going to make the obvious crossbow placement that makes this impossible. <laughs> but I well, sort of you. want to. Because you're the only one who does that kind of thing regularly. You're the only one who got... Na -na 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 -na. Nick. Nick. <laughs> Nick, 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 oh. Nick, Nick, Nick. Oh, man. Yeah, let's make us wait longer. Oh! <laughs> that was a whale and flail. Go. Nice. Hey, I'm oh. Actually, the door kind of makes it easier because you can kind of slide up the door and jump over. Yeah, but everybody said it like it was bad for a second. I don't know why. Yeah, it seemed like it. No. Oh, put in the box right there. Don't do it. Don't, don't do, do it. it. Don't do it. Don't do what it. What the nuke gets like filled in? It's mutually oh, assured yeah. destruction. Wait, wait, let's make the nuke. Let's make the nuke blow up. Let's uh, let's blow up the nuke. Let's see if the crack gets bigger. Three, two, one, go. Oh, cool. that oh, did seem bigger. bigger. The sky got bigger, dude. There's no doubt in my mind. The guy got bigger. What's the no reason to go until they die? die? What? I died? Know Ryan's. Wait, what, what is Ryan's what? Favorite rom com. We already know Ryan's. Stop! Uh, what do you think? My favorite rom com is not Something's Gotta Give. Really? You have another Ooh. favorite? Yeah, you know, probably like, uh, you know, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind or something. That's not a rom-com. How, in what ways is it not a romantic comedy? It's, well, it's really not much of a comedy. It's it like, has James Jim uh, Perry in it. Yeah, it, it, but he doesn't, he's not playing like, you know, the lawyer in Liar Liar. He's fucking like a no, he's clinically playing depressed uh, suicidal. Joel. Number 23, yeah. definitely <laughs> the best rom-com that Jim Carrey's been in. <laughs> Yeah, I think uh, Adam Sandler's best comedy is Punch Drunk Love. That is a comedy! <laughs> Am I gonna get crucified for saying that I really liked uh, 50 First Dates? Yeah. Okay. I love yeah. the cobbler, don't worry about it, man. 50 First Dates is like... It's acceptable, Adam Sandler. Yeah. Is Spanglish acceptable? It's shitty period. No, that's in shitty period. That's, what about that's like click? beginning... Well, okay, I should say really shitty period. It's kind of <laughs> always in shitty period. It's always been bad. Yeah, it's always been bad, but that's like really bad. I still maintain that Click is a good movie. Click is not a good movie. It gets so weird at the end. Yeah. 
Okay, click, 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 boom is a good song. Ryan, say you believe me, yeah. and you say that oh, Eternal Sunshine and Spotless Line is <laughs> not a, a romantic comedy. No! Click, click, what? boom, I want you in my room. There, I did it. I did What's it. What's your next one? Um. Oh, I'm missing something. I got one. Okay, you can name them. Pretty Woman. Walking no. down the street. That's a bad example. That's a great example. That's a that's a romantic comedy, and it's uh it's a pretty fun watch. I like Nine Months when I was a kid for some reason. Mm. Hugh it Grant. It takes nine months. That's all we've got. What? Fucking shit. What? Whoa. <laughs> I'll accept Shallow Hal as a romantic no! comedy. No! Oh my god! All right, then I that... submit Saving Silverman as a romantic comedy. I kind of agree. Shallow Hal is really not good. Well, yeah, but I, but I mean, I'm saying it's a romantic comedy. Though. Sure, okay. Yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> yeah, sure. I like watching you here, Nick, and just... <laughs> What do you think I, think I was going to do? Chasing Amy is a ra romantic comedy. What is? Chasing Amy. Yep, okay. Uh, what about The Born Identity? Yeah, definitely a romantic comedy. It is a very funny movie. Like, I you laughed. see how he killed that guy at the end? I laughed when, when he goes, car crash. when Moby goes, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Boing. that's the best part. What else is a romantic comedy? Is, um... Uh, interstellar because it's all about how Coop wants to fuck his daughter, and we're like, oh, <laughs> that's funny. Incest. In Stellar. That's weird, yeah. Rob. Yeah, you took <laughs> it in a weird direction. <laughs> Did it, what, why? Is the fuck his hundred year old daughter is weird? Yes. Pretty much like uh, at face value. Yeah, no, I, I also, <laughs> I also, exp you know, no! I appreciate that that's weirder. You ruined everything. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. Get wrecked! A, ne a moment like that will never happen again. <laughs> Some people wait a lifetime for a moment like that. Hey, this is a weird episode. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It's had a great deal. Check it out on multiple perspectives. It's located in the video descriptions below. But for now, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.